Good day students, welcome to mathcodeserve.com. In this clip we're going to be going over section 13.6b of our virtual algebra 2 text. Our focus will be on how to apply the properties of logarithms in condensing logarithmic expressions. Before we get started, there are some equations that you need to remember in order to um, successfully execute the problem solving process. So let's go ahead and review those real quick. Equations review. So we're going to first of all take a look at the properties of logarithms, okay? So first of all, uh, we have the product property of logarithms. If you have log base b of x plus log base b of y, these two can be condensed since they have the same base as log base b of x times y. So just remember the sum of logarithms is the same thing as the logarithm of the product of the logarithmic arguments as long as your bases are identical and you do not have any coefficients. How about the difference? What if you have log base b of x minus log base b of y? In this case, we're going to have the inverse of multiplication, which is division. So it's going to be log base b of x divided by y. And then you have your power property. This is a quotient property. You also have your power property of logarithms. A log base b of x is equal to. Now this property enables you to power up the coefficient of your logarithms so that you can apply the appropriate condense, condensing formula. So here, um, using the power property of logarithms, this can be written as log base b of x to the a power. Now these properties can also be extended to log base e, the rational number e, um, known as the natural logarithm. So let's take a look at formula 4. What if you have the natural logarithm of x plus the natural logarithm of y? The same principle applies. This is just log base e, okay? So you can apply the product property here. You have natural logarithm of xy. And then if you have the natural logarithm of x minus the natural logarithm of y, you can apply the quotient property here. You have natural logarithm of x over y. And then you can also apply the power property to natural logarithms too. So a ln x is the same thing as the natural logarithm of x raised to the a power. And then one last uh, equation you have to remember is a basic equation for arithmetic. When you're dividing two fractions, let's say you have a over b divided by b over c. Let's say a over b divided by c over d. This is the same thing as multiplying the dividend by the reciprocal of the divisor. You might have heard of drop change flip or keep change flip before. So you can drop this, this becomes a over b, and then you change the division to a times, and then you reciprocate the divisor to get d over c. Okay, so this is a rule for dividing fractions. You want to keep that in mind. Okay, let's take a look at some examples. Instructions are, are for us to condense the given logarithmic expressions. The first one, what if we have the equation log base 2 of 4 plus 2 log base 2 of 3 plus log base 2 of 5. Alright, so let's go ahead and condense this. So what are we going to have? We're going to have, um, let's rewrite the problem, log base 2 of 4 plus 2 log base 2 of 3 plus log base 2 of 5. So before we can condense, we have to ensure that the logarithms have identical bases, which they do and they do not have a coefficient. The logarithm in the middle has a coefficient, so we need to take care of that using the power property of logarithms. So we power up that coefficient and we have log base 2 
of 4 plus log base 2 of 3 raised to the second power plus log base 2 of 5. Now we are ready to condense using the um, product property of logarithms. So you just have to remember anytime you have the product of logs that converts into I mean, if you have the sum, sorry, if you have the sum of logs, that's converts into the product of the logarithmic arguments. So the arguments are basically 4, 3 squared, which is 9, and 5. Those are the arguments of the three logs, so that's what we're going to be multiplying. So we're going to have log base 2 of 4 times 3 squared, which is 9, times 5. And then when you multiply everything together, 4 times 5 is 20, times 9 is 180. You have log base 2 of 180 as your final answer. Alright, let's take a look at another example. Let's take a look at the example that involves, an example that involves log base e, natural logarithm. So, what if we have 3 ln x minus ln y plus 3 ln z. So the goal here, same instructions are for us to condense the expression. So we have 3 ln x minus ln y plus 3 ln z. Now, um, remember the first thing we want to do is make sure that the logarithms have identical bases, which is the case here. All of them are log base e. So that's why we are representing that with ln. And the next thing to ensure is that we do not have any coefficients in front of the logarithms. We have two of the logarithmic uh, terms with that problem. So this 3 here has to be powered up using the power property of logarithms. Same applies to this right here. So we are going to have the natural logarithm of x to the third power minus the natural logarithm of y plus the natural logarithm of z to the third power. Now that we do not have any coefficients, we can proceed to condense our logarithms. Okay, Our logarithmic arguments are x to the third, y, and z to the third. So you have to remember that when you have t uh, minus, that's divide, and then plus is times. Okay, So we can rewrite this as a natural logarithm of uh, x to the third, I'll write this as a fraction, okay, over 1 because there's a division component there. x to the third over 1 divided by y over 1 and then times z to the third over 1, okay? Now we're going to basically apply the properties, uh, use the order of operations or use arithmetic to simplify this. So we have the natural logarithm of x to the third over 1. Now when you're dividing by a fraction, it's the same thing as multiplying by the reciprocal. So we're going to drop change flip, okay? So we drop this division, sorry, you drop x to the third over 1, you change this division to a times, and then you reciprocate or flip this fraction right here, so it becomes 1 over y. This is already times, so you do not need to drop change flip, you just uh, keep it just the way it is. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and multiply the numerators and the denominators. That's how you mu multiply fractions. So you end up with the natural logarithm of x to the third, z to the third, over y. You can condense it further. Uh, you can also write this as natural logarithm of, since these two have identical powers, you can write it as natural logarithm of xz to the third divided by y. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is your final answer. Alright, let's take a look at one more example before we try out some practice problems. Now, what if we have a situation where um, the fractional terms. So log base 2 of x divided by 3 minus log, oh, sorry, minus 3 
minus 3 log base 2 of y minus log base 2 of z over let's just leave it as 5 log base 2 of z okay so we're gonna go ahead and um, condense this one right here so the condensation is as follows solution so log base 2 of x over 3 minus 3 log base 2 of y minus 5 log base 2 of z okay so first step is we want to ensure that we do not have any coefficients this is a coefficient I'll show you that in a second but we can power up the middle and third um, logarithmic coefficients so power that up and power that up right there um, and then we can write this one as one-third log base 2 of x now you see that this is kind of like a coefficient fractional coefficient and this is log base 2 of y to the third minus log base 2 of z to the fifth power okay so we have to address this uh, coefficient here so how do we do that we just apply the power property of logarithms again and power this up so we have log base 2 of x to the one-third minus log base 2 of y to the third minus log base 2 of z to the fifth now we can now proceed to condense okay minus and minus those two are divisions so we are going to um, divide and divide so we're gonna have um, <coughs> log base 2 now x to the one-third can be written as a cube root of x so we have cube root of x write that as a fraction over 1 divided by y to the third over 1 divided by z to the fifth over 1 okay now we're dividing by two fractions, so we're going to drop change flip twice. Okay, so this is the dividend, so that will be left alone. So we drop that. We have two divisors. Since that dividend, the first term is being divided twice. So we have the cube root of x over 1. Change the divide to a times and reciprocate this. You have 1 over y to the third. So you drop change flip and then change flip again so change this to times and flip that 1 over z to the fifth okay and now we can go ahead and just multiply the numerators and the denominators and that will give us log base 2 of the cube root of x divided by um, y to the third z to the fifth power and that ladies and gentlemen is your final answer for question number three now how well did you understand the contents of this presentation to demonstrate mastery we'd like you to try out uh, the following problems just uh, copy down the problems pause the video and work on them and then you click on the playback button when you are done working on all the problems alright so the uh, instructions are for us to condense the following logs number one what if you have log 2 plus log 7 plus log 11 now this one number one you notice that there are no bases there these this is known as the common logarithm uh, what is the common logarithm the common logarithm is a log base 10 okay so if the base is 10 then um, you do not need to put the base there okay common logarithms don't have any uh, specified bases just like natural logarithms even though they are base e you don't put any base there you just write ln for number two what if you have five log base 9 of z 
plus 15 log base 9 of x plus 5 log base 9 of y. Number 3. What if you have the natural logarithm of 5 plus 5 times the natural logarithm of 2 minus 3 times the natural logarithm of 3? Number 4. What if you have log base 5, log base 5 of x plus log base 5 of u over 2 plus log base 5 of v over 2 plus log base 5 of w over 2. All right, so go ahead and pause the video, try the following problems, condense them, and then go ahead and click on play to see what the answers are. So hopefully you had a chance to try this problem, so let's take a look at what the answers are. For number one, we have log base 10, of course you don't put it there, log of 154. The second one, final answer is log base 9 of z, z to the fifth, y to the um, y to the fifth and x to the fifteen. And then for number three we have the natural logarithm of, if we want to write it as a product of factors, we have natural logarithm of five times two to the fifth power over three to the third power. So this is just as a product of factors. Or you can write it as the natural logarithm of 160 over 27. They're both the same thing. They're both the same thing, okay? Number four, answer is the log base 5 of x times the square root of u times v times w. And that, ladies and gentlemen, are the answers to the practice problems. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. I really appreciate it. If you have any questions or comments about the contents of this presentation, just place it in the comment section below, and we'll be more than glad to uh, respond. If you found the contents of this tutorial helpful, do give us a thumbs up. Your positive feedback is very valuable to us. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for updates to other tutorials in our virtual text series, such as this. More clips can be found on mathgutserve.com. Go ahead and check it out. Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.